All right, thank you very much, Megan. Well, could you eat some foods that actually help fight inflammation or maybe even arthritis? You may be a nutritionist. Dr. Beth Kitchen joins us this morning to explain. Good to see you this it's morning. Good to see you too, Mike. A lot of us have inflammation. I've got it in my shoulder now, my right. knee. I know Mickey's got some as well. We're all getting yeah, old, right? Old. I know we've been down. we've been doing this too long. <laughs> That's exactly right, Mike. We've got several forms of arthritis: osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Okay. And inflammation can play a role in both of them. Now, anyone who's got rheumatoid arthritis really knows this because they will often have visible inflammation mm -hmm. with red swelling joints. So that's more what we would call acute inflammation. Okay. But we also have this chronic inflammation, and that is where you don't really have symptoms of it, but it can be damaging those joints and making these diseases worse. Okay. And it turns out that there might be some foods that can help at least slow down that progression. So you said the word might, which tells me the research is really not conclusive on this. Exactly, we've okay. got a lot of research that's showing that those markers of inflammation, mm -hmm. there's something called CRP that uh, a lot of people, uh, it's called C-reactive protein, CRP. And that's a marker that maybe you've got some inflammation going on okay. there and maybe some damage is occurring. Mm -hmm. And what the research shows is that there are some foods that seem to reduce that. Now, whether that translates into you know, a big effect on lowering the disease, okay. that's where we don't know. But the research is promising. Some people, you know, they may be desperate to try anything at this point because they're in a lot of pain. Right. So let's talk about some of the foods. Exactly, let's go through the different categories of okay. foods and we're going to put them up on the screen there. Right. And I won't talk about every single food, but let's look at the fruits. And the fruits, it seems to be the berries, like blueberries, cherries. Um, raspberries and strawberries, but even oranges. And then look at the vegetables. So things like beets, bell peppers, broccoli, and of course our greens like collards, kale, and spinach, but mm -hmm. even tomatoes. So these are foods that you could really easily increase in your diet. Okay. And also then, beans, right? Yeah, and then we've also got some legumes. I've heard about and that. And legumes are things like so, edamame. Now, so, edamame is soybeans. It's a fancy and word you've for seen, beans. Yeah, it's soybeans in the pod <laughs> where you steam them. But if you're not into that, look at what we've got pinto beans and red beans. Ooh. And then if you look at the next category, whole grains like brown rice, oatmeal, um, and quinoa. Now quinoa, I don't ever make quinoa, but it's easy to make brown rice and oatmeal. And look, you can make your red beans and rice with yeah. some brown rice and you're ready to go. Add in some nuts like almonds and walnuts for snacks. And then look at the fish, salmon, sardines, and mackerel. All right, I want to jump ahead real quickly. Yeah. Spices, because I hear so much about the uh, Turmeric, right? Right. So, turmeric is a spice turmeric, that might be um, that might be anti-inflammatory, and so working that into you, know, you might have to look up some recipes on how to use that because yeah. I, I don't have any turmeric on my well, spice you know, rack. Yeah. In there somehow, maybe, yeah. Right? Now ginger I love, and then of course olive oil, olive oil we can use milk. a lot, okay. and soy milk. Now you know some of those berries. I always tell people get those frozen because right. you know That's they can be like expensive. Them. Yeah. They're so harvested great. fresh. So add these foods in. Maybe See you'll help helps. with that inflammation. Can't hurt, Dr. right? Dr. Beth, thank you so much. Thanks All a lot, right, Mike. JJ, stay in